Hey everyone, I'm Corinne Jones with Red River, and in this video, we show you how to create a live event with Stream. So with me today, I have David Prezwara, What's up, our everybody? facts guy, and Brian hey Charles, guys. our demo guy. So Dave, why would someone use a Microsoft Teams live event instead of a meeting? A standard Teams meeting is limited to 250 participants. Uh, a Teams live event can be up to 10,000 participants. Teams live events also takes advantage of additional Azure infrastructure, such as Azure Media Services and the Content Delivery Network. And so I understand when you create a live event, you have presenters and producers. So Brian, what's the difference? Presenters to the live event are anyone that has content that they wanna share, whether that be audio, video, PowerPoint, desktop, you name it. Producers are users that are behind the scene that are really controlling what's going to be the focus of the presentation. They can switch th between cameras, they can switch between shared desktops and things like that. Okay, great. That makes a lot of sense. So what about the participants? Are they able to really communicate within the event or are they able to participate in chat? So participants in a live event can't share their audio or video, but they can participate in the Q&A chat. All right. Well, Brian, go ahead and show us how it's done. So you can actually start a live event directly from the stream application, once again showing how all of the Microsoft utilities are working together. When you log into your Office 365 portal, click on stream, click on create, and you'll notice an option there for live event. Once you select a live event, it'll ask you to go ahead and name it, put a little bit of description, upload any images that you may want, select the time that you want to go ahead and get it started. I'm going to select as soon as the encoder is connected and have this published. Once you hit publish, you're going to get some additional information of how to get this started. Now, streaming directly from stream doesn't allow you to use Teams, but you can use a custom encoder. You can use the encoder of your choice. I'm going to hit configure manually and you'll get your server ingest information down below. You could choose you could choose if you want it to be secure or not. I went ahead and downloaded this free encoder. I'm gonna paste my server information in. If it's asking for a stream key, it's just gonna be the final section after that last forward slash. Hit apply and okay, and start streaming. What you'll notice is there's gonna be a bit of a delay for before the information to come from your computer into the, into the streaming content, but you should start seeing it update inside of stream. Well, thanks for that demo, Brian. So why would someone want to do this in stream instead of through Microsoft Teams? Setting up live events through stream is really useful if you wanted to embed that video feed directly into a Yammer conversation or some other intra intranet. Thanks, Brian. That's really great to know. Well, thank you everyone for watching our video today. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a brand new Microsoft Teams training every Tuesday. Thank you.